All right, folks, welcome back to another video over here on YouTube. I am Christian Lasso. As I always mention, remember, I never study English. I learn English by myself, so I'll try my best. In today's video, we have uh, our second video. Actually, this one, it's about a very beautiful place we have over here in the coffee region. And it's called Cocora, which is the home of the national tree of Colombia. And also two towns uh, called Salento and Finlandia. Well, over here I'm saying, um, it's uh, in the first video, a lot of people told me about uh, I, I was talking like a robot, so I just tried to find some way more natural. Uh, I changed the introduction. Oh, the wheel is here. So over there I'm mentioning about uh, the place where we're sitting. First, we, we just been in... Um, that's a viewpoint in the town of Finlandia. It's worth it because from the top of the viewpoint you can you can see well if it's not cloudy you can see Armenia, Pereira, Circassia, basically the different departments of the coffee region. So, on the suggestions to, to go to those places, it's a, a sweater, a good walking shoes, actually good walking shoes, because in Kokora normally if it rains it becomes muddy, so you will go, you're, you will, you're going to need a good walking shoes. So over there, those are the, the views you can have from the town of Finlandia, actually that's like the main street of Finlandia. Something you can do is basically you can go walking to, from the main square to that uh, main street to have a beautiful views. I remember those days I, I, I had not a, a gimbal, stabilizer. So over there we are in the main square. It has uh, handcrafts, that's not always, all right? That day was a holiday, so um, the handcrafts is not going to be in the middle of the main square always, but always is they're going to have um, the shops. So some information about Finlandia, it's the second oldest town in the in that department, it was founded in 1878 on the ground. So that that guy actually was uh, selling arepas. So it's actually a different uh, things you can do, like go shopping, take pictures, drink a very good cup of coffee. There is our second sponsor. Remember in the video of Medellin, we had the first one. Normally, we only the people who sell food. It it supports our channel in those days. Mr. Jose Luis selling arepas. So you can spend around one or two hours in Finlandia. It uh, depends about if you are like a shopping people or, or not. If you want to go to uh, these kind of places like for staying a while or just being for 30 minutes, it's up to you. But the town is basically the main square, the viewpoint and the main street. So, um, from Finlandia, you can just take a, a wheelless jeep if you don't have your own transportation and you go to uh, the town of Salento. And from Salento, you take a wheelless, a, a wheelless jeep from Salento to Cocora. Here we are already in Cocora. There is um, 2,400 meters above sea level, actually that's like uh, 7,800 feet. So 
it's cold sometimes. It's different kinds of trekking you can you can do from from Kokora. Also, you get you can rent a horse or go or go walking. So normally, uh, line like the easiest is around one one to two hours, and it's going to to the El Bosque de Palmas, basically the forest of the wax palms. The wax palm is the national tree of Colombia since 1985 and is the tallest palm in the world. It can grow uh, until even more than 60 meters. That's around 240 feet. So that's a very, very beautiful place. Also, it's another activity you can make and it's called Akaime. Akaime is a natural reserve of hummingbirds, but that's going to take around six hours walking. So in that moment, well, we, we didn't show a lot about Kokora because it was going to rain and that's uh, the problem about Kokora and uh, it's because the weather changes like every 20 minutes. So you can have 20 minutes of rain, one hour of sun and well, you never know. So that's why you have to be ready for everything if you're going to that place. So over here we are um, in Fonda del Escobal, it's actually uh, one of the best restaurants of all the coffee region, it's between Cocora and Salento. And the typical food of Cocora is uh, it's, uh, the trout. So over there that uh, it's um, a Pacific trout, that's how they call it. I don't eat fish, I'm allergic to fish, so I'm eating uh, bandeja paisa, which is basically uh, an, another typical uh, dish. After lunch, we just been in uh, Salento. And Salento is the oldest town uh, in all the department, it was founded in 1942. It's more touristic than Finlandia, about the architecture or even the structure of the town is going to be very similar to Finlandia, but um, it's more touristic. You're going to see, for example, more backpackers, hostels, hotels, um, handcrafts, the guy of the Borra House, Calientes, which is basically a typical dessert which is made by, by plantain and it has um, Bocadillo, which is a, a sweet made by guava. Uh, well, I just uh, was making an introduction of the main street, which is called the Royal Street, where everything uh, to the left and to the right of that place is shops. If you like handcrafts or buy something beautiful, you can go there. Um, so it's just one street and to the end of the street is 238 steps if you want to go to a viewpoint that was a Sunday so you can see it's very very busy so basically uh, it's, it's actually like three different options you can go to Finlandia after to Kokora and eventually to Salento to enjoy um, these beautiful towns and these landscapes of the coffee region so that's actually um, a very good option, it's uh, kind of like the most typical activities or the most typical tour the, norm, the, the, the people uh, do over here in the coffee region. Go to Kokora, go to Salento, to Finlandia. Also, we're going to try to show you different towns, but in this case, that is the home of the national tree. So this is the end of the video of today. Remember, give a like, subscribe, um, I will love if you make a comment here below and see you in another video